this man Hodgkinson was against the Koch brothers, publicly denounced it, saying we were in America under the Koch brothers due to their uh, alleged climate sins. He was a pipeline protester. He, t he, t he came to the Washington, D.C. climate march, which I attended back here in April, uh, and bragged about being at the march and fighting for the climate, which, by the way, that sign said that climate, there was a sign right by the White House at that march, a very prominent, huge banner that said climate denial uh, is akin to mass murder. So mm. this is the kind of rhetoric that could have inspired him. And he thinks, of course, the Republican Party has been called the party of denial and by the mainstream media that the Republican Party is putting the earth in peril. So going to that march, there was a lot of extremist sentiments like that, that, you know, denial equals mass murder. So this man shoots Republicans, targets Republicans, and the media, you mentioned the New York Times, Ezra, they turned around and blamed Sarah Palin. They're now, yeah. they're now trying to issue some sort of clarification and correction. Palin's thinking of suing them. They're saying that Palin then years ago had a uh, campaign uh, brochure that had a target on it, uh, you know, about politics and that the, she was in, in, you know, getting people excited and getting guns into it. Utter nonsense. What's amazing about this is years ago we had the Waco uh, uh, fire, uh, the, the Waco attacks. We had the Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma City. And the media turned this all into right wing. Cult leaders were suddenly right wing. Talk radio was responsible. Timothy McVeigh uh, tied to militia, Nazi organizations. And somehow he was mainstream conservative. And it was conservatives, conservative hosts that were feeding this. Conservative media were responsible. We're not getting that this time. They're still trying to blame conservatives when this is mainstream liberalism. MSNBC, Rachel Maddow. And they're just not, they don't want to blame liberals or anything like that. It's, it's a classic double standard. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.